Hi everyone, welcome to our online Fatsu program by Master Zhou Ching. The topic that I wish to discuss with you guys today is that what you didn't know about the hidden stems combinations. Let me first discuss about this uh, notion of uh, bisexual ugly branches. Just do a recap, in terms of the polarity of yin and the yang for the earthly branches, we have the rect being the yang branch, the ox yin branch, the tiger yang branch, the rabbit yin branch, and so on and so forth. Okay, you probably already know about this. And right now, what I'm going to display to you here are all the hidden stems that are actually subsumed under each and indi uh, individual earthly branch. Like, for example, under red, zi water, we have kui hidden stems. Under the ox, the chou earth, we actually have ji xin kui. Under the tiger, the yin wood, we actually have three hidden stems, jia, bing, wu and so on and so forth. You can see that minimum here we actually have one hidden stem and up to a maximum of three. Usually for those uh, earth elements like chou, chen, wei and shi, they carry up to three hidden stems. All right. And another thing just to let you know is that this first element here, the hidden stem here, the first one, I call it the first tier hidden stem. They are actually the main qi, all right? The main hidden stem, the main qi. Whereas for the other two, they are actually known as the sub qi, okay? The sub qi. Like for example, we look at si, the snake of the branch here, okay? The bing is the main qi. The wu and the geng are the sub qi, okay? So what I'm going to do here is that we are now going to observe just the main hidden stems only. All right, the main hidden stems. And you would probably realize that the main hidden stem actually share the same element as the earthly branch. Like for example, zi is red and red is water. Kui is also water. Okay, then we have chou, which is ox. Uh, chou is earth. And the hidden stem here is ji, followed by tiger, which is uh, wood. All right, the hidden stem here, the main qi is actually jia, and actually so on and so forth. Okay. So what what I have done now is to actually display the yin and the yang or the polarity of the main hidden stems. Like for example, kui. Every one of us know that kui is actually yin water. Right, Kui is in water, therefore I put a minus sign there. Plus sign here means yang. Okay, so it's yang and yin. So for example, one more. Chou is actually a yin earthly branch. It has actually a hidden stem of ji. Ji, as we all know, is yin stem. So therefore I put a negative sign over there. Alright? So, over here, you can see that in this uh, basically rectangular box here, I display all the different yin and the yang sign, the polarity, okay, under each hidden stem, okay. So, let's uh, carry on. Something that I wish to highlight to you. Okay, in case uh, you are studying Pazi but you may not be aware, is that you look at these four earthly branches the rex, the zi, snake, the shi, the horse, the wu, and the pig, the hai. If you actually observe the uh, so called the hidden stems polarity as well as the earthly, earthly branch polarity, they actually differ. They actually are different. Okay? So therefore I call this four uh, earthly branches bisexuals in this case. Okay? Whereas if you observe the other earthly branches, they all share the same polarity, the yin and the yang, with their respective 
hidden stem. Okay. So you see, yin yang between the following earthly branches and main hidden stems actually differ. And what's the implication here? The implication here is that this will affect how you label the names of the earthly branch and how you recognize the earthly branch in terms of the ten god. Just to give you an example, let's say you are a Jia Day Master person. You are born in the month of snake or si. Under the earthly branch snake or si, the main qi here is actually bing fire, which is a yang fire. Alright, so to recap, this is actually a yin earthly branch. The snake is a yin earthly branch. Whereas the bing fire itself is a yang hidden stem. All right. So you see, uh, when we come to the concept of Ten God, how we determine the name of the Ten God for each so-called earthly branch and the hidden stems is that we go by, of course, the productive and the countering or the exhaustion cycle. All right. So in this case, for a Jia Dei Master, if you see a bing, hidden stem here, okay, we actually label this as the eating god, the shi shen, okay. Why we label it as the eating god? Because this go by the tank god concept. The yang wood day master, when he sees a yang fire, it is eating god, okay. Because yang and yang, they give rise to eating god this name. However, if you see a yang and a ying different polarity, it will be known as hurting officer. Alright, just to borrow the market term. Okay. So for example, usually when we label the uh, so-called the ten god name in the Bazi chart, we actually insert the names next to the hidden stem. Alright, so this is the earthly branch. We don't actually label directly on the earthly branch. We actually insert the ten god name next to the hidden stem. Okay, so please take notes. And in this case, if you just directly label the ten god name onto the earthly branch here, okay, this is actually a yin fire earthly branch, then you will actually call this a hurting officer, which is actually wrong in this case. And in the analysis of your Basel chart, right, there is actually a huge difference, huge difference, excuse me, when it comes to uh, reading, especially a lady's chart. A lady born in the month of hurting officer, the destiny outcome is very different from comparing to a lady born in a eating god month, okay? So next, next let's look at uh, hidden stamps combinations. In Chinese, we call it the Di Zi An He. So just to recap again, this is the arrangement of the branch and the hidden stem. Okay. First set. Okay, this is one of the three sets of, we say, hidden stems combination. Okay, between the ox and the tiger. So if you observe, okay, Jia and Ji. Is actually a heavenly stand combination. Bing Sing as well, Wu Kui as well. Okay, if you have uh, forgotten about this part, you may wish to check it out my uh, other videos about what you do not know about the arrangement of heavenly stands. Okay, this actually forms a combination. Okay, but they are hidden combination because if you uh, have uh, learned Batsu. Or if you are not aware, you can also read my or actually watch my video on the combinations. Chou and Ying, they don't actually form a six combination. Okay. But they are actually secretly forming a relationship underneath here without people knowing. So second set is between the rabbit and the monkey, the Mao Shen combo. Mao Shen, they don't actually form a one form one of the six combinations per se. However, if you look at the first layer of 
the main sheet hidden stand here, you realize that Yikeng actually combined. Okay, so let me go to the third set. All right, this is between the horse and the pig, the U and the high. So you look at the hidden stem level again. Ting and T will secretly combine with Ren and Xia. Okay, so you ask me, what's the implications? Okay, the implication is like this. It can be a sign of a hidden love effect, for example, because everything is uh, combining, secretly combining underneath, without people seeing, without people knowing. All right? It can also imply a third party involvement. Okay? So, this is basically what I want to share with regard to today's topic. I hope you have found the uh, video benefiting. Okay? Uh, so, if you want to find out more about us or use our uh, parts calculator, you can go to our website, masterfengshui.com. Okay, so you go to Shui tools to plot your parts chart. Hopefully, I don't see, uh, you don't see any hidden stamps combination in your chart. All right? Usage is free, but you need to sign up as a member to use it. If you are interested in our parts program, you can always email us at this uh, address here. Okay, so uh, I wish you... Good luck in the learning journey of Batsu. Thank you very much.